Hey, it's Janine here with your Diamond Mentor Moment. And I am talking to you about intercultural creativity. And of course, you know, a lot of my work is backed up by brain science. But I want to talk to you about development. Development. We're going to be hearing that word a lot as we are in this learning agility time where we want to, we want to stay ahead of the learning curve. But I want to talk to you about milestones as well. And as children, right, this is my son's coming out with his book, I Am Creative. As children, we really we really watch our children for their milestones. Those of you who have seen uh, children or have had any of your own, you know that it's very important to keep track of whether they're hitting their, their milestones. Are they, they crawling? Are they babbling? Are they reaching for things? When they get older, are they trying to put words together? Are they pointing things? And are they making eye, eye, eye contact? If you meet a five-year-old child, and you hear the five-year-old child putting together sentences, identifying letters, sounds, shapes, moving appropriately, has decent emotional control for a five-year-old, you'll be like, okay, they're doing well developmentally. They're hitting their milestones. But what if you meet that same child five years from now? Now they're 10, right? At five, they're entering elementary school. At 10, they're about to exit elementary school. And they're still at the cognitive level an emotional level of a five-year-old, that would put red flags on the situation. We would look, uh, we would start testing them, see what's going on. We would um, bring in specialists, right? If they're in school, we would have an IEP, which is um, looking for that, that special support that some students need. It would really alarm us if we had a 10-year-old in our midst that was acting like a five-year-old and on the same emotional level as a five, five-year-old. Keep that in mind, five years. That would really make us wake up and ask, what is the matter? My question to you is why don't we do the same or why don't we have the same reaction if we meet a 30 year old? How about a 35 year old or a 40 year old? If we met a 30 year old and then met the same person five years from, from now and nothing has changed, why doesn't that give us red flags? We all need developmental my milestones to make sure we're growing, to make sure we're learning, to make sure we're refining our tools and, and, and dismantling old beliefs and really structuring the new beliefs that we need to move forward and to increase adaptability, increase observation, perspective shifting, all of those things that I talk about and teach on. Jim Rohn says, Jim Rohn says, when you apply for a, a job, and not a lot of times we focus on the monetary benefit. Okay, am I making $50,000, $100,000? What are they going to pay me for me doing this task? Rarely do we ask, who am I becoming here? How am I going to grow under this leadership? How am I going to evolve into the next person that I'm, the next stage of, of thinking and cog cognitive fluency that I'm supposed to have? Very rarely do we ask that question. And now we're really going to have to, have to um, because... I want people to understand that time is of the S essence. And this pandemic really showed that. It showed how the future is not promised. It showed how we have to be adaptable and it shows how we have to keep learning. And so there's a great quote that, that I, I, I share uh, by Charles Jones. And he says that you will still be the same person five years from now, except by the people you meet and the books that you read. And I want to extend that and say also by the things that you observe and reflect upon, because that's a part of your own internal growth. Things that you read are just great ideas, but they're still coming through other people's faculties. For you to increase your own ability to get ideas from your own faculties is a, is a key, key skill that we want to improve on as well. And so I want to challenge you to not only look at children and make sure your children are hitting their milestones, but what are your milestones? Are they in line? And who is above you, your leadership, that will help you become the person that you're meant to become? There is a concept that you'll be hearing me talk a lot, and it drives a lot of my, my work. And I talk about it within the classroom and the workroom and the boardroom called the Pygmalion Effect. And it talks about how the leader above you and their expectations of your productivity, your creativity, your cognitive ability has one of the largest influences and the impact on you performing well than almost any other factor. Do they expect for you to thrive? Do they expect for you to be creative? Do they see you as a competent and above competent 
encouraging, inspirational contributor to the organization. If you're under a leader that does not, that will directly affect your ability to perform. And so like Jim Rome remind us, reminded us not just to be focused on the financial benefit of acquiring a new position, focus on the cognitive, emotional, and creative milestone growth that you'll have access to if you go to that particular organization. We are in the great period of the great migration. It is the talent's workforce, the talent's playing field. Talent is going to where they're going to be able to grow in this stage of learning agil agility. And so I just want to inspire you with this diamond mentor moment that we're, we're in to have your own milestones, right? This is a stone, the gem. Have your own milestones in place. Who are the people you're meeting? What Which books are you reading? And how are you using observations and ideas and access to ideas to grow and to become the best you? This is your Diamond Mentor Moment for today. I look forward to meeting you every Wednesday around the two, within the two o'clock hour. And just uh, let you know, uh, my, my son's book, talking about milestones, is coming out within the next few months. So keep an eye out for the pre-launch pre for that. And he'll be showing you how you can be creative and how you can watch the creative growth of any type of child around you, but also how you can incorporate these creative ideas into your own life as an adult. And I will be coming out with my book within the next a few months, very soon, it's in the editing phase now, of the seven gems of intercultural creativity, how to connect, create, and innovate across cultural lines. Look for those two pieces of resources coming out soon. And I really hope you set your milestones in place and ask yourself in the next month, how did I grow? Who did I meet? Which new ideas did I entertain to formulate something new in my life? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.